What's going on guys? Kevin here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about something sort of different. Um, I thought it'd be really interesting. Uh, it seems like a lot of people really liked my JLAL Hoka video, my Ultra Tour video, um, and I really like Hoka shoes. They are probably the most comfortable running shoes, casual shoes around in the market. And I really do like when they do some interesting collaborations and they really tap in to those niche markets and those niche um, I guess like communities for lack of a better word. Uh, so Hoka did a collaboration with a running athletics clothing fashion brand called Satisfy Running. They are a Parisian running sort of streetwear fabrics athletics brand. I know that's a weird elongated way, but essentially they focus on performance fabrics, but not necessarily to the degree of like extreme performance. So they like to focus in on the entire experience of uh, like athletic wear, not just purely the like, oh, like how many grams lighter can we get it? How, you know, um, you know, like does it like moisture wick in a certain way, etc. They want to focus in on the entire experience to make it a pleasurable experience and something that you enjoy and are able to get into that flow state slash like runner's high state. Um, so I do think that they're approaching athletics wear in a very interesting way because I think post COVID a lot of people have been really getting into running to clear their mind and have been getting outside a lot more. So that's why I think that big trends like core, core, you know, like technical apparel, like mountaineering gear, you know, stuff like that is popping off is because of this desire to essentially get out more. Uh, so. Long story short, I like these pairs of shoes and that's the background of Satisfy Running. He is the founder, CEO, creative director of Satisfy Running and then they just released a Hoka collaboration like I mentioned. It is with the Clifton LS. Um, it's The Clifton is like one of their standard lines and then they have so many different divisions of it. Um, I have both colorways right here. They released uh, on Satisfy Running's website uh, early November and then they released on Hoka's website as well as a handful of other Hoka uh, Like I don't even know what tier it is, but it's the ones that usually get their collaborative and their special projects um, and Stuff like that. So they have I believe they called this the iron ore color. This is a very very nice color I got this from a store in the UK called this thing of ours, this thing of ours. Yeah, funny story about this thing of ours is that I found them a long time ago when looking for more technical apparel and they have some cool stuff. They have um, a lot of cool smaller brands as well, as well as, I mean like obviously bigger brands like Hoka um, and they're a store in the UK, very, very chill. Um, I really like their stuff and they gave me a little sticker that says like, thanks Kevin. Um, I thought that was really nice. I definitely want to check them out. And here is the iron ore color. Uh, both pairs come with two pairs of laces. And like I mentioned, the Hoka box, classic Hoka box with very, very minimal branding. It says satisfy right here. Not sure if you can see it. It's like a reflective uh, print as well as here's the size tag. So on Satisfy Running's website, I believe they only have whole sizes as well as the, uh, like this thing of ours only have full sizes and it recommends to go up half a size if you're in between sizes. Um, so for both of these, I went a size eight just because I like my athletics shoes a bit more snug um, and I went true to size. They are a bit snug, especially with the athletics laces in, um, but I can make it work. So, but I would, if I were to go back, maybe I'll size up to a size nine. So here is the Ecru cream color. I just love the design of all of these. They look fantastic. So um, I got this cream pair from like Satisfy Running's website. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they didn't include the second pair of laces on this. On the website, it said that they would. Um, so on the cream, uh, they didn't include a secondary pair of laces, but on my uh, ore color, they did include a second pair of laces. So it is this classic 
rope style lace. Very, very sick. And yeah, they are a performance fashion sort of model. So let me, let me go into the detail about these. So here the pair is. Um, it is, again, like I mentioned, the Clifton LS. It has an asymmetrical sort of uh, style to it. It is laced up with those running laces in olive. Um, it has olive reflective panels all throughout that is fused into the fabric upper. It has about a five millimeter drop. It's about 285 to 290 grams, depending on your size. So it's a very, very light uh, pair of shoes. Um, it has neutral stability as well as a pretty balanced cushion all throughout the forefront and the heel and midfoot. The engineered mesh on the upper almost has that topographical sort of shape as you can see where right over here, it's a bit raised up, raised up. So it's a very unique design that I haven't really seen from Hoka, even though Hoka does do some engineered mesh uppers. There is abrasion resistant uh, rubber at the bottom so it gives you that sort of traction and i feel like these could easily do as well on the trail as well as just road running on the back it has dual webbing for the pulleys for donning straps so that you can put on the shoe a little bit easier um, there is also a reflective detail right here on the toe that says satisfy running now here is the cream gray pair, same sort of details, except you're able to see a bit more of that topographical, uh, like jacquard knit on the upper, the engineered mesh right here, uh, cause the shapes of the shoe are a little bit more see-through, a little bit more translucent. The details of the shoes are all the same. Um, this gray has like a hint of green to it as well, which I thought was really sick. Both back, uh, like ankle parts, has this sort of ripstop fabric in the back. Quadruple stitching, same straps here. Um, the tongue is kind of sewn down as well, as well as it has like some sort of a stretchy mesh on the inside to keep it sort of aligned. Yeah, it's a very, very cool looking shoe. The gum bottom as well, gum abrasion resistant rubber yeah overall very very sick shoe so for these hokas with the speed laces in i feel like it's a bit hard to get on um, they are sort of fastened down by this rubber pulley you can pull that out pull this down and then you can definitely open it up a bit more but even when it's like fully opened up You'll, you'll barely be able to like slide your foot in there because it is quite a snug fit, uh, like I will say. So I think a lot of people are gonna opt into going for the reflective rope lace. I will probably do that as well. Um, but for the cream pair, unfortunately, yeah, I got this from Satisfy Running's website and they didn't include the extra laces. So that is a pretty big bummer. I might send them an email about that. Um, but Hoka's, if you guys haven't worn them before, an extremely comfortable shoe, very supportive. Um, the Tour Like Ultra Low is definitely a bit more of like that hiking, um, so the tread is a bit deeper, while this one is definitely more on that running aspect of things, so it's a lot more cushioned, uh, but the tread isn't as aggressive as uh, the Tour Ultras from my JLAL. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these shoes. I'm a big fan of them. I think they're pretty sick. Um, they were, I believe they were 100 something retail. Oh, they're about 220 euros, uh, 225 euro retail with free exchanges, etc. Uh, so like Satisfy Running has a pretty good um, return exchange policy. So I might send them an email. Um, the only caveat might be these might be out of stock. So. I will keep that in mind and I'll update you guys. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this sort of content, please subscribe, hit that like button. <laughs> um, I do videos like this pretty frequently. So let me know what you guys are thinking about these Hoka's. Do you guys own any Hoka shoes? Um, 
leave in the comments down below. I'm pretty good at responding. So yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.